everybody, it's Danny here. Welcome back to yet another video. Today we're talking about what's in my tech bag, what do I bring to school, and what do I bring in general when I'm going places. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because I've seen this type of video a lot on YouTube, and a lot of them feature tech that most people wouldn't be able to afford, including myself. So this is what's in my tech bag, budget edition. So the first thing in anybody's tech bag or backpack setup is going to be the bag itself. And personally, I have the Timbuktu laptop backpack. It's actually pretty nice. As you can see, it looks pretty good too. You got the navy blue uh, with the orange accents and then the black back. The reason why I chose this bag and not another tech bag with like 12 different compartments and much more space is because I feel that having a smaller backpack forces me to choose the essentials of what I need for that day. So instead of having a huge backpack that's 20 pounds, I can carry a 10 pound backpack knowing that I have exactly what I need. Nothing more, nothing less. Alright, next in our list is our computer and that's going to be the Acer Chromebook. Now. This is not the most powerful laptop, however, it does have some good features, especially for students. It has 4GB of RAM, 16GB of SSD storage, and a CPU that clocks in at about 1.60 GHz. So, if you don't know what that means, it just basically means that it's not the fastest computer, nor is it anywhere close to the best. However, it does do what it promises to do, and that's to provide a student with everything he or she needs to get through a regular day in high school. and. Maybe for some college students, it also would be applicable. Now, I'm able to run pretty much any Google application, and I'm able to watch YouTube videos and Netflix without any trouble. Now, I'd also like to point out that it runs Zoom pretty well, so in a world where we're probably going to be remote learning for the foreseeable future, this is going to be able to support you in that. It does run Zoom, and it runs it pretty well as I've used it for the past two, three months. Alright, so the next part of the bag is the middle compartment. That's going to be the second. The second and third set all right so the next thing on our list is going to be in the second compartment so if we open that up you're gonna have a lot of space in here and we are gonna be pulling out some of these $50 Bluetooth noise canceling headphones I actually put this in a video uh, click the video right here if you want to watch it. It was in the top five products for quarantine video. Uh, all the mids, highs, and lows are pretty clear. And I just generally like listening to music with these headphones. They're also pretty comfy. They allow you to get pretty comfortable with some cushions at the top and really plush earmuffs. So definitely going to get some good quality out of these. I use it when I'm at school and I'm on Zoom classes or if I'm just at home and I'm plugging into my, my PC setup here. I'm pretty much always listening to something. On these headphones so yeah I can definitely recommend these to you guys next thing on our list is going to be some notebooks obviously I mean these are pretty self-explanatory use them for class and also use them for journaling and just uh, documenting my day whether it just be what I'm gonna do tomorrow or it's just uh, some math homework I'm using my notebook pretty much all the time and it comes in pretty handy this is a space gray it has a little green accent I really like it I picked it up from Target uh, so if you want to look for it on Target, I, I guess you can, but this should be pretty cheap. Uh, I guess it works. I mean, how can a notebook not work? Alright, so we only have a couple more things left in my backpack. The next thing is going to be this pouch. Um, this pouch contains pencils, it contains uh, a USB Type-C charger for my phone if it ever needs a boost. Definitely bring a charger to school. I, I know a lot of my friends who never bring a charger to school and it's always dead at school. Not only do we have those though, we also have a portable charger. Uh, this portable charger is actually pretty good. It's a portable charger from Pocket Juice. This is like a really old model so you won't be able to buy this one anymore. But you can still pick up its updated version online for 20 bucks. It has 8,000 milliamp hours and you can charge two devices at the same time. So definitely a pretty good buy. And yeah, I mean. My family picked this up like a long time ago, and if you don't know, this is about five or six years old, maybe even more, but the point is, it still works, it doesn't lag, it doesn't have battery issues. I mean, it's an iPad, there's not much to say. It's good for watching YouTube videos, Netflix, or simply if I want to surf the web with a bigger screen than my phone, but not as big of a commitment as my Chromebook. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. All right, the last thing on our list is going to be in the front compartment of our backpack and if I just open this up it's gonna be the Samsung Galaxy A11 my phone that I use every single day I did a full review on this phone and if you want to watch that video link down in the description below and there's gonna be a little info 
card passing by the screen there so you can watch it. Uh, but without saying too much, it's a good phone with a decent price, doesn't break the bank, and I'm pretty happy with its performance these last couple of months. So that's the phone I use every day, and I'm happy with it. That's pretty much it. The entire bag in total cost about $560, so it definitely does live up to the hype of being a budget-friendly backpack. I feel that that's a good price for a tech backpack. Everything included, included a phone, laptop, headphones, pretty much everything you would need in a typical school day. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and commenting down below what's the most important thing in your bag, whether it be a tech bag, a purse, backpack, whatever it may be. Put it down in the comment section below. I'm actually quite interested in what I might find. If you really enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. It actually took a lot of work to make, more than I actually thought it would. So a subscribe would definitely help out the channel and help out this community. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'm DA and I'll see you guys in the next one. Deuces.